In the UK, a woman is taking legal action against the government after her father died in a care home with suspected coronavirus. Despite most deaths taking place in care homes, Cathy Gardner was not told that her, was, her, was told sorry that her lawsuit is not in the public interest. Angela Barnes has the story. COVID-19 has left the social care system in a critical state. More than 16,000 people have died in UK care homes alone as a result of it. Cathy Gardner's father died of probable coronavirus in a care home and she's now taking legal action against the government, NHS and Public Health England to hold them accountable for it. After he died, I realised that the government had put a policy in place for patients to be discharged from hospitals into the community, not just without testing, but also some of them actually with coronavirus. So these people were being put into care homes in what should have been a completely safe environment. And that is one of the reasons why we've seen such a huge number of deaths in our care homes in the UK. In response to a letter Cathy's lawyer sent, one of the combined responses stated that it was not believed to be in the wider public interest to go to court and asserted extensive measures to protect the people who live and work in care homes were taken. So we've now received a reply from the defendants and surprisingly, uh, they have not really engaged with the issue, engaged with the issue of why people were allowed to be discharged from hospitals into care homes without being tested for COVID. That uh, they haven't engaged with that, nor have they disclosed any documentation that would explain their reasoning as to why they came to that decision. Well, Cathy Gardner's legal team will now push ahead with the case and present its evidence to the courts where it will seek a ruling that the state acted unlawfully in the actions it has taken regarding the most vulnerable in care homes. A spokesperson for the Department of Health and Social Care told Euronews it can't comment on ongoing or potential legal action against it. Meanwhile, Cathy's raised more than £60,000 on a crowdfunding page to allow her to pursue the case. Angela Barnes, Euronews.